Understanding people's thoughts and feelings may seem like a supernatural skill, often associated with magicians or psychics. However, it's more about comprehending human behavior and perception than anything mystical. By observing body language, facial expressions, tone of voice, and other subtle cues, one can gain deep insights into others' thoughts and feelings. While one may never actually hear someone's thoughts, becoming skilled at understanding them is possible. Here's how to read people's minds by mastering the art of observation and empathy. Body language is one of the most potent indicators of a person's thoughts and feelings. Even when someone is attempting to conceal their genuine emotions, their body often gives them away. For example, crossed arms can indicate defensiveness or discomfort. Leaning in might show interest or engagement, while leaning away could signal disinterest or discomfort. Fidgeting can suggest nervousness or anxiety. Attention to these non-verbal cues can often gauge how someone feels, even if their words say otherwise. The human face is incredibly expressive and can reveal a lot about what someone is thinking. Micro-expressions, which are brief and involuntary facial expressions that respond to emotions, can be particularly revealing. Even though these expressions only last a fraction of a second, they can provide crucial information. For example, a genuine smile involves the muscles around the eyes, not just the mouth. Raised eyebrows might indicate surprise or curiosity, while a tightened jaw can signify stress or anger. Reading these subtle changes can help you understand what's going on in someone's mind, even if they're not verbally expressing it. The way someone speaks can be just as informative as what they say. The tone of voice, pitch, and pace can all provide insight into a person's emotional state. For instance, a slow, deliberate speech pattern might suggest that someone is carefully considering their words, possibly trying to conceal something. Rapid speech can indicate excitement, anxiety, or nervousness. A soft, quiet tone might suggest insecurity or sadness, while a loud, booming voice could indicate confidence or anger. By paying attention to these vocal cues, you can better understand the underlying emotions behind someone's words. The eyes are often called the windows to the soul for a reason. Eye contact, or the lack thereof, can convey much about a person's thinking or feeling. For instance, direct eye contact can indicate confidence, honesty, or interest. Avoiding eye contact might suggest discomfort, anxiety, or even deception. Frequent blinking can be a sign of nervousness or stress. Understanding and empathizing with other people's emotions is an essential skill in various areas such as the workplace, school, and personal life. Those in professions that require strong interpersonal skills, such as diplomats, healthcare workers, and business people, can significantly benefit from developing their ability to understand and interpret others' emotions. Observing where someone's eyes are focused can also provide clues. Are they looking at you when they speak? or glancing away frequently. This can indicate whether they're engaged in the conversation or thinking about something else entirely. While nonverbal cues are essential, the words a person chooses can also provide insight into their thought processes. People often use word choice to reveal more than they intend, even in casual conversation. For example, Overly formal language might suggest someone is trying to distance themselves emotionally or is uncomfortable. Repetitive phrases can indicate someone trying to convince themselves or others of something. Frequent use of I or me might suggest self-focus, while frequent use of we or us might indicate a more inclusive mindset.
You can gain insight into their true feelings and intentions by observing how someone phrases their thoughts. When interpreting someone's mood, body language, tone, and choice of words are the best places to start. Empathy is also essential, as it allows you to understand their perspective and makes it easier to comprehend their thoughts, feelings, and actions. Remember, mind reading is not about controlling or manipulating others for personal gain, but rather about enhancing your understanding of the world around you. By developing empathy, you can become a more compassionate and perceptive communicator, create stronger connections with people, and ultimately master the art of mind reading. People are creatures of habit, and their behavior often follows patterns. By observing someone's usual behavior, you can spot deviations that might indicate something is on their mind. For example, if someone usually talkative suddenly becomes quiet, it could be a sign that something is bothering them. A typically punctual person who starts arriving late might be dealing with stress or other issues. Recognizing these patterns and changes can help you understand what might be happening beneath the surface. Empathy is the most critical skill in understanding people. By putting yourself in someone else's shoes and trying to understand their perspective, you can gain valuable insight into their thoughts and feelings. Empathy involves active listening, genuinely listening to what someone is saying without immediately jumping to conclusions or thinking about your response. Being present means paying attention to the person before you without distractions. Non-judgmental thinking means avoiding the urge to judge or categorize someone's feelings and instead trying to understand why they feel that way. Empathy allows you to connect with others more profoundly and can help you intuitively understand what they're experiencing. Mindfulness, being fully present in the moment, can enhance your ability to understand people. By practicing mindfulness, you can become more attuned to the subtle cues people give, making it easier to pick up on what they think or feel. This practice involves paying attention to your surroundings, noticing the details of someone's behavior, environment, and interactions, being aware of your biases, and recognizing how your thoughts and feelings might influence your perception of others. Responding rather than reacting, Take a moment to consider your response to someone's words or actions rather than reacting impulsively. Mindfulness can help you become more perceptive and aware of the subtle signals people give off. Sure, here's the revised text. There's actually nothing extraordinary about mind reading other than the fact that those who claim to read minds are really just closely observing body language, facial expressions, and gestures. They may also use techniques like hypnotism to manipulate your thoughts. Psychologically, body language and facial expressions can reveal a lot about what someone is thinking or feeling at a particular moment. This is because the brain and the central nervous system are intricately connected. When your movements and gestures convey engagement, interest, approachability, and openness, it is considered positive body language. Understanding people is less about supernatural abilities than honing your observation, empathy, and mindfulness powers. By paying attention to body language, facial expressions, tone of voice, and other cues, you can gain deep insights into what someone is thinking or feeling. While you may never literally hear someone's thoughts, Mastering these skills can help you understand and connect with others profoundly, leading to stronger relationships and better communication. Subscribe for more life-changing videos. Thank you.